Hello, great to have you with us. Our travels have taken us to the south of France. We're at the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we've got coming up for you is group stage action from the Cup. It's France versus the Netherlands. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Here's the side France will go with. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. is underway Gras Georo promising attack this must score well, the keeper had to concentrate and mopping up defensively went in strongly decisively well, they've made their intentions clear here. France have started the game really well in these opening minutes, and they've only been denied by a wonderful save from the goalkeeper. Well, now they've got to concentrate on keeping the door locked. Can't miss, surely! And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So back underway. Will there be a response from France here? Charlotte Bilbo. Marie Antoinette Catoto. Body on the line. Roared. Really good challenge. And that puts them in position. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping.
Now sending it in. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And she just finds that bit of space in the box, which makes the header so much easier. It's a very good goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Van der Donk. Now here's Martins. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Toletti. Cadigiatu Gianni. Ev Perise. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Might take the lead. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Wasteful from France. And the pass could do damage. Well, offside, but a tight call. Well, that was really close. It was almost the perfect run, wasn't it? Well, great read there to intercept. Van Dongen. On to Van de Graag. Daniele van der Donk. Thumps clear. Gianni. Not showing good defensive judgment. Toletti looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead opportunity here well how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up spits it now what can they produce on the flank well the threat was very real marvellous defending Jill Ward. Is it going to be? And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Well, there it is. The first half is now in the history books here at the Orange Velodrome. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Now, this could be productive. A real opening now. And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here.
Well, as you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Grasgeiro. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Brilliantly blocked. Can someone get on the end of this? No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. A glorious chance. Oh, she squandered the opportunity and she knows that's not something she can afford. Not when you're two goals down. They need to get back into this game and that was a golden opportunity. Come on, let's go! Good move in the making from France. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Breaking at pace. Dominique Janssen. On to Martins. And that is how to block. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And there it is! She's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, here it is again, and she's just been caught on the ball. That's a complete lack of awareness. It's a poor bit of play, really. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Renard. It is a decent looking attack here. Timely intervention. Miedema, tremendous ball played through. Now the attack fizzled out. Now, who can she play it to? But really sticking to the task defensively. Oh, surely. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Martins. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Gayogo. Well, a joy to watch. Well, very effective play in possession. Wonderful chance. Oh, it's goalkeeping at its finest. Absolutely right. That is a wonderful save. Top class stuff from the keeper. Let's see about the delivery. Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. Losing possession a bit easily.
could be threatening. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Sherry da Spitze. Now win. Now with Van der Graagt. Anik Nauwen. Every pass hitting its target. And reading it absolutely superbly. Cascarino. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Superbly read and executed. Lynn Wilms and there goes the final whistle much to the disappointment of their supporters you're absolutely right Derek they really struggle to get to grips with the game they always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them poor performance all round